And now we go into the fifth line. And the fifth line is all about implementation and power. And I've seen that many of the figures that uh, we revere in, in society, the, the great leaders, the great uh, role models, not role models, but like, these people that we have up high, you know, this referential person that have made a huge impact in the world are fifth lines. What can you tell us about the line five? Yes, yeah, so now that we get into the last two lines, the, the sixth line being more the role model, and we'll get into that one, but um, the fifth line is really the leader mm -hmm. and the practical leader. So it's not just, it's not really about them you know, being so wise or anything like that. It's about delivering practical solutions and leaderships. And in a way, they are the saviors of this world also. You know, like the, the fifth line has something which is important to know and which is the projection field around it. Yeah, the fifth line always carries with it a huge projection field. What do I mean by projection field? People are constantly projecting onto the fifth line. It's just energetics and those projections can be very positive like you're the best I trust you 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 can save me you can help me you know or in relationship like uh, they usually get a lot of infatuation from people you know uh, all, all of they're the most seductive of all lines actually the, the the fifth line constantly seduces people into following them or into falling in love with them um, and yeah, they're, they're the biggest flirt, you know, of, of, of all the lines. They always carry the certain, certain aura about them, which is very seductive, which is very attractive, basically. Um, and so again, like, people are ready to put them on a pedestal. People are ready to project, you know, everything onto them, like, you're going to help me. I know it. I feel it. You can deliver for me. Now, if you're a fifth line and you do deliver, that's great. If you don't, the very same people who were ready to, you know, crown you now want to crucify you. And suddenly those projections become very negative. So the fifth line is always going to be the most talked about. You know, it's always going to be the subject to gossip. And again, that gossip can be like, oh my God, she's amazing. Or, oh my God, I hate that bitch. You know, it's, it's, it's both. And it's usually, again, the same people... Uh, who were praising you now, you know, are trying to put you down, you know, and so two important keys for the fifth line. You need to deliver practically, but not just that, stop playing into the projections because the shadow of the fifth line actually is fully playing and participating into this projection field. The fifth line can be extremely lonely actually because it's always putting out a mask. It's always putting out uh, this image of itself and it's quite happy you know that the world is participating in that and, and feeding this this image meanwhile they're in the back and hiding from all of it they don't really want to be found out they don't really want to be seen and the key for the fifth line is to break this image this fake thing it's like yeah like you, you you want to get out of loneliness show yourself like hey this is me this is the real me and so for the fifth line it's a journey into more and more uh, vulnerability yes more and more openness more and more honesty and actively breaking away this projection field now it will never completely go away it will never so on one like be aware of it get used to it being a leader is always a lonely place to be in it's it's a well-known thing um but try to see to which degree are you participating and to which degree are you feeding this projection field? Are you playing that game? You know, are you hiding behind this, this, this image or, or are you being real? Hmm. Um, I think this, this part of transparency is, is really important. Uh, and also like from the other lines, looking at a fifth line to uh, observe this projection field, you know, like when we demand something from someone, this person can help me or can save me, like really like get uh, grounded in reality of what that person is really promising or saying that they can deliver instead of going into fantasy and, and thinking that this person can do something that they never even talked about. Yeah. You know, we, we just think uh, they can save us and, and we can see this behavior a lot in the spiritual realms with the gurus, you know, which are 
uh, archetypically you can see this problem you know you think that this guru is going to save you and you follow him in the end until there's something that you didn't like and you turn against him completely you know it's like now it's your biggest enemy and now you want the downfall of that figure so i think that's an archetypical like a uh, fifth line kind of shadow i mean say. i would be ready to bet that jesus was a fifth line hmm. you know like there is he was he was the savior hmm. you know and it was the fifth line oh is always uh, very polarizing it's it's rarely something in between mm. you know it's usually people either love them and are ready to die for them or people want to kill them mm. and i'm giving here extremes you know but we've seen like literally it's this thing of crucifixion mm. you know and and someone who used to be so close to you if they don't get what they want they, they, they are the ones who will betray you so the theme of betrayal the theme of of uh, people turning on you is very strong for the fifth line, you know, because that's the thing with the fifth line because of this projection field People don't want you they want something from you. They want Exactly what you can deliver, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why it can f it can really feel quite lonely uh, on a You know on a on a social and human level for the fifth line because you always feel like actually people want something from you whether it's that image that they're holding or whether it's a practical solution that they want or it's uh, something having to do with your gift and talent uh, but it's um, it's usually that they want something from you mm. you know so yeah mm. so it's a line let's say of leaders and teachers and, and, and that theme yeah the teacher theme can also come with the sixth line mm -hmm. um, but yeah yeah leadership uh, you know certain guidance yes you do have the teachers also, which can be uh, a, a fifth line, um, you know, a lot of charismatic public speakers can also be fifth line. You know, there is a, this fifth line has a gift connected, connected to speech mm -hmm. also. Um, so yeah, all of those. So in that way, we see many of the examples of a fifth line in the past. Uh, and also we see it on, on great figures of authority, but how can it look today to be a, a leader as a fifth line, both on the higher levels and, and more the lower levels too. So today more than ever, I think people are a bit tired of, of this projection. People are tired of masks, you know, and actually more and more people want a lot of vulnerability and authenticity from their leaders. They actually, we want now like leaders which are not above which are not on top of us and just you know this thing of up to down but actually the best leaders are the ones who are at your level and who are including themselves in every process and so with the fifth line actually comes this thing of sacrifice also you know it's like that's the real leadership it's are you able to sacrifice your own life in the name actually of of this of this leadership and so it's not just again like using this power abusing this power and you can see it also in relationships and in intimate relationships the fifth line as i said they're the biggest flirts and the fifth line has a tendency to use this flirtatious thing as a manipulation tool to use their you know their, their ability to seduce actually to manipulate and to get what they want so it's it's just being aware of that projection and manipulation yes and these power games Yes, in, in relationship, the fifth line, especially if it's the fifth line unconscious, um, can play into those power games, can play into being quite dominant. Um, and so it's, it's, the fifth line has to ground this thing of leadership, has to bring it down and be like, okay, how can I use this assertive quality in a loving grounded and caring way in which i'm actually helping the relationship i'm actually helping these people and this group of people if you work in an organization i'm i'm helping this organization to move forward but how can i do this in an honest and and harmonious and and grounded way without the power play into it mm -hmm.